Okay, I will uh, call to order the 66th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. And with that, I'll turn this over to Mark Geyer. So, <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Um, I want to start with uh, some um, uh, introduction of new members and uh, um, announcement of the retirement of uh, some other members. September Council is the uh, is the time at which there's a, uh, a transition with the new slate of council members uh, um, having been appointed. So um, there are <coughs> several council members who are retiring, and uh, they are Mike Benke, Mark Chi, Rex Chisholm, Rick Myers, Pearl O'Rourke, I should say just uh, retiring from council. Um, <laughs> their, their terms are, are uh, they're rotating off. And uh, I really want to, on behalf of the Institute, thank them so much for, uh, for their uh, contributions during their uh, time on council. Um, they've been invaluable. We will miss them. And uh, I'm sure we'll be, be uh, uh, trying to take advantage of, uh, of their expertise in many other ways. Um, <clears throat> the new slate of members has been appointed by the secretary. Um, they, their first official meeting will be uh, in February, but we have invited them to this September meeting uh, as ad hoc members uh, to give them a little taste of, uh, of how council meetings uh, go so they don't come in cold turkey in February. And the, so the new members are Lon Carden from uh, GlaxoSmithKline, Joe Ecker from the Salk Institute, Howard Jacob from the Medical College of Wisconsin, Bob Nussbaum from UC San Francisco, Lucilla Ono Machado from uh, UC San Diego, and Artie Rye from Duke. And uh, in advance of the February meeting, we welcome them. And we look forward to uh, working with them for the next four years and uh, to, their, uh, uh, to their wise counsel. Um, I also want to introduce uh, some new staff members to the council. And I will ask uh, them to stand in the back when their names are called. Uh, we have seven new program analysts in the extramural program. Uh, Kathy Sun who is working with the LC uh, program in the Office of Population Genomics. Alexei Archambault, who's working with the Knockout Mouse Project. Deborah Colant Colantoni, who's working with uh, the genetics, the uh, Genotype Tissue Expression Program, GTEx. Taryn Marit, who's working with the Sequencing Program. Katya Vadalevich, from the, uh, for the working with the Thousand Genomes Program, and I hope I pronounced your name right, Katja. Uh, Jessica Barry, who is working with the Lynx Program, and Sherry Zhou, who's working with the ENCODE Program. So welcome to all those uh, staff members, and uh, I'm sure council members will be hearing from them uh, many times. Um, we have uh, uh, two uh, liaison members uh, who are uh, here today, Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors and Joanne Bachman from the American Society of Human Genetics. And there are uh, a couple of other people uh, who I just want to introduce and let council members know that they're here. They're from outside of NIH. Uh, Adam Berger from the Institute of Medicine. Joanne Scott from NICHPEG, uh, the National Coalition for Health Professional Education and Genetics, and Milian Lee from Deloitte Consulting. So welcome to all of you. <coughs> Is there anyone who I have failed to introduce who should be? Okay, um, the next uh, order of business is the uh, consideration of the minutes from the uh, previous May council meeting. Um, does anybody have any comments on the minutes? If not, can I hear a motion for approval? A second? All in favor? Anybody object? Thank you. 
And uh, finally, I will call your attention to the future meeting dates, which are listed on the open session agenda. Uh, the council meetings are scheduled at least two years in advance. And uh, if any council members uh, uh, have any uh, problems with any of those dates, please let us know as soon as possible. So thank you, and I will turn it back to Eric for the director's report.